Yo, yo, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a long time, so I opened it, but you know, I'm back at it. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create an e-commerce website, an e-commerce mobile application using Flutter and Love. So, I've, I guess it's like uh, one of my most asked uh, tutorial on my YouTube channel, so I'm going, to, I'm going to be doing it. All right, so the first part of this video is going to be what we're talking about on, um, on our API. So, I'm going to be uploading them one after the other. So, in this tutorial, you're going to be working on um, building the authentication, the register, and login authentication system using a uh, Laravel sector. All right, so without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to head over to Laravel.com and by the way, I'm going to be dropping this uh, this UI uh, in the description, the video description, so make sure you check that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to head over to Laravel.com because we need to what, um, set up Laravel. I already have Laravel installed already, but I'm using it to explain to you in case you don't. So you want to go ahead and click on create a Laravel application. So you can go ahead and copy this code if you want on mac if you're using windows you can copy this and if you're using um linux you can copy this and uh, once that is done um that's going to install um composer for you i believe and that's going to install php for you i believe so if you don't have php you can use that the next thing you want to go ahead and do is install uh, um Laravel through composer and it is very very required that you have composer installed in your laptop so you install Laravel now you can go ahead and just do Laravel new the, your application name or uh, either way instead of going through all those a long process there's um, a composer um command for creating projects in Laravel. Um, i don't know where it is i think i think i think they removed it that was why i installed it that way but you get what i'm saying so i already have that in my this in my stuff i'm just going to see into my documents i'm going to see into youtube because that's why i create my project right so i'm going to make a directory here eh? i'm going to call it um, e commerce so let me see if in commerce. So this is what I'm going to create my project. So the project I'm going to create is uh, going to be a uh, Lave new e-commerce. Um, let's say e-com API. So this, this is going to be the API. So we're working on the API first. So you don't have any starter key to say no. I guess you want to use PHP unit. You now by default we can we can just select Breeze and say we want to work with API, but we don't want to do that. We want to like write the code ourselves. So let's wait for this to finish um, creating the project. Okay, so in the process of that, we need to select our database I want to use. So I'm going to be using SQL MySQL. So I'm just going to say no. You don't want to run any default migration because you don't have our database set up yet. So it is done installing. I can click this. Now I can see into Econ API. Right? I'm just going to put my editor here. Okay, so our project has been created successfully. All right, so we are going to move things fast first. You know, I've done many other application tutorials on my laptop or my uh, YouTube channel before, so we're going to move things a little bit fast. So let's get our API called uh, our database called Ecom API. So that's what we're going to do next. So you go to PHP my admin. Uh, okay, so I need to run that. I need to run my server again. Okay, so let's just run our server again. Okay, so up our own so I can rephrase this. So what I want to do is create a new database. You can call it um what is um what is it called again? So the econ this so that's what it's called. Okay. So let's do e com API. Okay, so after creating our database, so we get our database called e com underscore API, which is um what we have here. So now let's look at the design. So the design here, the needed stuff in this design is um the name, email, and password. And I believe that is what we have um in our in our file, I believe. So this is what we have in our file. Because if I should check on the user. Let me check the user database system. Okay, so we have email, 
Oh, we have name, email, and what and password. So, yeah, so this is all we need. Okay, so now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to install Sanctum. Let's begin with begins of Sanctum. So, we need to install Sanctum on our system. So, we need to go to the package, go to Sanctum, find Sanctum, which is here. Then, we going to just install it. So, we're doing PHP artisan install API. So, it's as simple as that. So, go to new window. Good document development. So the two CD e commerce and CD e commerce PI. My convert on to PHP as a sign install API. So this is going to install the API for us. Okay, and um, I'm just going to click. So now we can go ahead and just see this since that is everything that we need. So now I'm going to run the server here. This does it itself. Alright, so box my code and everything works fine, I believe. So now we can um go to my terminal and then we to um create a new a new controller for what? Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a, a, a new controller. So let's create a new controller uh, and um let's just put my terminal here. I want to do PHP at this uh, make controller. So this is this going to be in the odd controller so you see odd slash uh authentication we we'll see odd slash odd controller okay all right so we've created that already that's your number um, okay so just close that so now you can open up the odd controller all right so now in the odd controller if you're wondering um what editor is so i'm using vim so that's why i have um I, i'm writing my I'm using vim here so the first one today is you want to create a register controller okay you want to create a register controller here so a person the request i want to make sure you do what validate but the integer goes towards I want to pass request. I want to pass validate. So we need to validate our data, right? Which is what you need to do, obviously. Then we need to pass in the name, email, and the password, which is everything that is required. That's in this place. So we have email string, we have required string email, the unique user and password, which is everything that we need. So we need to remove it like this. Okay, now I'm going to say um, user is equals to user the create I'm going to create a user, right? So, but before we can move on, there's something we need to do. We need to go into our user model. So, we need to go into our user model, right? Then we need to um, user.php. We need to go to our user model. We need to pass in here. Let's say as an API token, I believe. When you use this as API token, you need to import a particular file, which is um, she has API token. So we need to import this. So I'm just going to copy this, right? As API token, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste this, paste it right here. Okay, so with this, we can be able to create any uh, token with ourselves. So now we can now say, um, we can say token equals to uh, user. We want to use plain text token. So in order for us to use plain text token, we need to first, first create our token. We call it our token, we call it plain text token at the back. Now we can go ahead and now do return response. So it says status should be true. And you pass our token then obviously we need to pass our user so which is like the first we need to do so let's say user is equals to this user here okay save that and this for register this for our register now for the login is going to be something similar it's going to pass this uh, say i have already code written for me but it's better to just write it ourselves so of course you're going to validate our data so to validate data. We need to say 
I want to make use of the email. I want to also want to make use of um, the password as well. Okay, so now that that is done, I want to say if I want to check the user. So let me say user equals to user where. Okay, so let's say user where the email is equal to the email that was passed. We're going to fetch the first user. So if there's no user or the password is not corrected, so this very password there has to be something we call ash. It has to be called ash. So ash check. So this ash check will accept two parameters. Right? So this actually will accept two parameters. So it will accept um the hashed password and the your password and the hashed value so you have to accept the password yeah the password and the hashed value which is user password in this case so if it's wrong we say invalid mb password but if it's correct so if that is done you just put our token again just like we've done before then we can pass it again Okay, so we have user create token or token as well, but you're going to have an error here because I'm not sure if the hash imported space CD. Hmm. So I'm looking for a way I can import this. So I'm just going to I'm going to do this. So my uh, my editor is not making me um it's not making me import them so password ash okay so this is it i'm just going to copy this and i'll just paste that at the top okay yeah that is everything so next thing we need to do is go to our our api.php file we need to create our routes so we need to create two routes we we'll go for the login i will go for the register as well but we need to import our register controller so we need to for the register control, we need to do use this which is the controllers there. We, yeah, we just need to do that now. If we should go to our terminal now, we can see php at the sum route list or we get api login registered. Yet. Okay, so now let's run our server back. I'm just going to open up my postman. Okay, we're going to open up postman to test this. So open up postman. Then we're going to point to one two seven point zero. No, let me just copy it. Okay. So it's going to be a push request. We're going to point to API slash register. Okay, so we are, you see we are not having any error. So we need to just change this to like application JSON. So you see accept application JSON. I can see the name is required, email is required, and password is required. So now we can go here. We can say name. We can say email. We can say password. Okay, so the one you send is say we also need to add the password confirmation field. Put the password password underscore confirmation field and see password as well. Let me run this. Now we have another that says all oh, user not found. So I think we've not in our code here. So in our um bot controller here, the user we're using here is um this user we're using here is not what we need. So we need to import the user model user um, app slash model user here. So we need to use the user model. Okay. Now let's test it again. So we have another that says as API token not done. But we added it, I believe we added it, right? As API tokens. Um, you know what? I think this is this one. I'm going to open this in my in my um Visual Studio code so we can fix it. So this is not an error we should be okay. Okay, so I have it opened up here. So what I can do is oh interesting. So oh I think I did not save that file. I think I did not save that file. That was what happened. So the second just installed it. Yeah, I did not save that file. 
<laughs> my bad so I just test this again yeah you can see our user has been created successfully which works so now let's check for the login as well okay, for this login we don't need this and we don't need a name so this time i'm going to change use the wrong details to see where we get invalid uh, invalid email or password now i'm going to use the correct one you can see our login system works as well so in this tutorial now we've covered uh, um, the execution system so the next tutorial we are going to be we are going to be um, creating categories and some products like we're going to be using dummy data as well you know we're going to be add, making use of admin panel we're going to be creating admin panel as well so we're going to be adding dummy data as an next tutorial All right so if you like this tutorial please make sure you like subscribe see you next time peace